As a network engineering manager, the Tulare architecture has provided me an option never available to me before. I can take my MPLS link in an office, the associated router, the cost, the administrative overhead, and remove those from my network and increase efficiency. That lets my staff do other things, that reduces our hardware spend, capex, opex, maintenance, and everything else that goes with those sorts of things. After we implemented Tulare, using redundant circuits at each site, we're worry-free and it's saving us cash. With the ability to remove four phone systems and not pay the maintenance and not bring in T1's PRIs to feed those, we, you know, we, we're saving thousands of dollars a month. We're getting a lot of bandwidth to the sites for uh, very little money versus having to buy them bigger or multiple MPLS connections. We have a level of redundancy, we have much more speed, and all of it ends up being cheaper than what we were paying for MPLS in the end. This just lets us have the throughput without having to pay the big dollars for it. Not only did we get high availability out of it, but we saved probably 35-40% on our networking costs, which made the business case for Tulare much easier. I mean, we went in with a high availability business case, but we came out with, uh, we can fund this stuff in 12 months or less ROI, you know, just from a cash over cash basis. So the CFO is like, well, you should do more of this.